Kaylee Hunt joins us live in Parlier with the flooding problems. Kaylee. Ken, just 24 hours ago, this entire street was flooded. And although the water is no longer here, the family who lived in this house right behind me is now displaced. They say during the massive downpour of rain, their street drain was clogged and an enormous amount of rain came flooding into their basement and most of their home. It was like a beautiful waterfall going down into our basement. Um, obviously, you know, looking at water is beautiful, but not when you see that it's probably going to ruin your property and damage your belonging. A family of six is now out of their house after it flooded from this weekend storm. We had a weird occurrence yesterday with a massive rainfall and some of the uh, residents, they did get flooded. Elizabeth Dienda and her family are now cleaning out their home, trying to salvage anything they can. Did take until nightfall. It was it was probably around uh, 8 30 o'clock or 9 p.m. when uh, they, they pumps were picked up. Dienda blames the flooding on a storm drain that was clogged with trash. Wow, look at this. Leaving no other place for the water to go. Even though it is rain and there's nothing that we can do to control it, what we can control is where the water goes and how to properly drain and have a drainage system in the city of Parlier. Along with Parlier, residents in Fresno and Clovis also hit hard. Paul Armendariz with the city of Clovis says he had employees constantly clearing out streets and handing out sandbags. Throughout the city that were that were addressing these problem areas and, and, and patrolling the areas. We have uh, uh, manholes that sometimes come loose. So we'll, we'll put those back or unclog uh, drain inlets and put up uh, signage as well. Now, the city of Clovis and Parlier are still handing out sandbags. However, it does not look likely that it will rain in the near future. For now, reporting live in Parlier, I'm Kaylee Hunt, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.